First of all, I will reiterate the fact that this is a safe city. And that is borne out by any of the statistics you look at, notwithstanding the very concerning and, and, and deeply troubling uh, uh, events of the last week or so. There are other weeks that we could point to back in the course of this very same year, 2015, where none of those things happened. And so it's deeply troubling to me that those things happened in our city in a short period of time, and that they happened ever at all in any period of time. That's point one. Uh, point two, I mentioned earlier on uh, that uh, I uh, was looking forward uh, to the discussions that would allow us to take more of the police officers we have and have them better deployed by having the discussions that the police association is committed to having uh, on uh, things like the shift schedule and the two-person requirement in a car because that will allow us to have more police officers in more cars in more neighborhoods on bikes on foot and so on right now we do have an issue i'll call it that i won't call it a problem i'll call it an issue with the deployment of police officers you can see from the study that came out this week how much time a police officers has taken up on calls that don't have to do uh, with uh, fighting uh, violent crime and, and dealing with these kinds of incidents and it would really help us if we had uh, that degree of flexibility I'll make another comment with respect to the budget. It's just to say that, again, as a member of the Police Services Board, um, I was sitting there, and again, I saw my job as one member of that board is to try and achieve balance, which was to make sure the police had the resources they needed, but at the same time to try and find ways in which we can keep the growth in that budget uh, to a reasonable level. And that is the budget that has been brought forward here after a lot of work, which again took the level of increase in spending down from, I think, above 5% originally to somewhere in the mid twos. And so we'll have a very interesting discussion at the City Council about uh, what is uh, needed to effectively uh, police uh, the city. The final comment I'll make in response to your, uh, to your question is that decisions with respect to what people are deployed where, in what kind of uh, mobilization of the police service to fight these gangs and to fight this kind of crime, including the non-gang related stuff, most of it is gang related, almost every one of those incidents you mentioned is, is up to the police chief. 